Once upon a time in a distant land, there lived a kindly old man named Geppetto. He was a woodcarver by trade, and he made all sorts of pretty things of wood. But his favorite by far was a cute little marionette boy, a little puppet that you move with strings. As he painted the finishing touches on the marionette, Geppetto said, There, aren't you a nice little fellow? And I have just a name for you, Pinocchio. Ach, Pinocchio, I certainly wish you were a real little boy. Yes, Geppetto lived all alone, and he really wanted a little boy of his own. Well, that night, after the old man went to sleep, all of a sudden there was a brilliant blue light in his workshop. And there stood a fairy, a beautiful fairy. She walked over to where the little wooden puppet lay, and then she spoke. Good Geppetto has given so much happiness to others that he deserves to have his wish come true. I'll touch little Pinocchio with my magic wand. Now, Pinocchio, you can move and you can speak. I can... I can move and I can talk and walk. Am I a real boy? Not yet, Pinocchio. You can only be a real boy if you prove yourself brave, truthful, and unselfish. To do that, you must learn to choose between right and wrong. And as suddenly as she had come, the fairy disappeared into the night, leaving Pinocchio just a little puzzled. I'm not so sure I understand, but I'm going to try to do everything right. Geppetto was very happy, of course, when he discovered what had happened. Ah, Pinocchio, I'm so happy to have a son of my own. And now, just like all the real boys, you can go to school and learn so many marvelous things. The next morning, little Pinocchio went merrily off to school to begin his new life. But on the way, he met a great big man named Stromboli. Ho, ho, ho. A marionette without the strings. You just come with me, Pinocchio. We'll be famous in theaters everywhere. You'll dance and sing and everyone will cheer you. If you really want to have fun, don't go to school. Well, I'm supposed to go to school. But I think I'd rather dance and sing on the stage. I'll go with you, Mr. Stromboli. And so that night, Pinocchio sang and danced, and everyone cheered him, because a wooden boy without strings is very unusual to see. Afterward, Pinocchio was as happy as could be. And now, Mr. Stromboli, I'd like to go home and tell my father, Geppetto, all about this <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. Not now. You stay right here with me. And to make sure you stay, I'm going to put you in this little cage and lock the door. Oh, dear. Dear, now what'll I do? This is a terrible fix I'm in. Pinocchio was very unhappy, but just after Stromboli had gone to sleep, there was a brilliant blue light. And who was standing by the cage but the beautiful fairy? Hello, Pinocchio. Hello. Why didn't you go to school, Pinocchio? Well, I, I was going, but I met a terrible monster with big green eyes. No sooner had Pinocchio said that than his little wooden nose suddenly became twice as large as it had been. Oh, my nose, what's happened? Perhaps you haven't been telling the truth, Pinocchio. Oh, but I have every single word. Uh-oh, there goes my nose again. Please help me. You see, Pinocchio, a lie keeps growing and growing till it's as plain as the nose on your face. I'll never lie again, honest, I won't. All right, Pinocchio, I'll forgive you this once. But remember, a little boy who won't be good might just as well be made of wood. And now, I'll touch your nose and make it small again. <coughs> and I'll touch the lock on your cage to spring it open. And now, Pinocchio, you're free once more. With that, the good fairy disappeared, and Pinocchio hurried straight home. But when he arrived, no one was there. Geppetto had been searching everywhere for his little wooden boy, even on the ocean. And while looking, he'd been swallowed by a giant whale named Monstro. And that's where Geppetto was now, alive, inside Monstro, on the bottom of the sea. I'm going there. I gotta find my father. So Pinocchio jumped into the ocean swam to the bottom and was swallowed by Monstro. And inside the whale found Geppetto. Ah, oh, Pinocchio, am I glad to see you. But you shouldn't have come. I don't know how we'll ever get out. I know how, Father. I'll take a look. 
wail till he sneezes. Here I go. Uh, 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 uh. Monstro sneezed a great fountain of water right up to the surface of the ocean and Geppetto and Pinocchio with it. But old Geppetto was in trouble. I can't swim anymore. Save yourself, Pinocchio. Swim for sure. And don't worry about me. No, Father, I'll help you. Hang on. We'll make it together. And they did make it together. But when they got to shore, little Pinocchio was all worn out. He fell into a deep sleep. And when he wouldn't wake up, Geppetto was very worried. Ah, Pinocchio, my brave little boy, why can't you wake up? Then, all of a sudden, there was the blue light and the beautiful fairy. Pinocchio has proved himself brave, truthful, and unselfish. Awake, Pinocchio, awake. And with the touch of her wand, Pinocchio awoke, and he was a real live boy. No longer made of wood, but just like other little boys. Father, I'm alive, and I'm real. Ah, Pinocchio, that's just wonderful. I'm so happy. <laughs> me too, me too. And so, of course, Geppetto and his son lived happily ever after.